day I come to you guys after nine years, but I'm coming today with anger in my heart that I've gotten so much taken from me of losing my daughter. Tonight, the man convicted of killing nine-year-old Janessa Ramirez had his sentence reduced by several years. Six years after Brian Cooks first learned he would spend 21 years in prison for manslaughter, he petitioned for a resentencing under a new California law. Family members gave their emotional statements in court today. Thanks for joining us tonight for Action News. I'm Warren Armstrong. And good evening, I'm Margot Kim. Action News reporter Anna Torreo was in the courtroom and walks us through what happened. She also spoke with a family member of Brian Cooks. My grandbaby is dead because of some choices that Mr. Cook made on January 18, 2015. And there's not a day that goes by that I have to live with grief and mourn and loss. Late Wednesday morning at the Fresno County Courthouse, the loved ones of nine-year-old Janessa Ramirez shared their emotional statements to Brian Cooks. In January 2015, Fresno police said Cooks fired one bullet from a 9mm gun at a rival gang member. The bullet struck and killed Janessa, who was standing in front of a West Central Fresno laundromat with her mother. Her mother, Stacy Gonzalez, addressed Cooks in the courtroom. He took my best friend away from me. You know, like they said, I can't even see her graduate high school. I didn't get to experience anything that you'd want to do with a daughter. Earlier this month, Cooks petitioned for a new sentence under a California law, which allows certain people who were convicted of aiding and abetting an attempted murder or people who were charged with murder but convicted of manslaughter can ask to be resentenced. It's the injustice of the law that's not only going to affect my family but many families. Cooks was convicted of killing Janessa in 2018 and sentenced to 21 years in jail. However, in court, Cooks agreed to withdraw his position. The court decided to strike down a five-year prior enhancement, reducing Cooks' sentence to 16 years. Action News spoke to family members of Brian Cooks after the hearing. Nothing we say or do will bring Janessa back, but if we want justice, we must let her soul rest. So. We apologize deeply to the family, and we would love to find some way to bring our families closer, you know. Um, yes, this was an accident, but my cousin is not a child killer. He is very remorseful, remorseful for what happened. Cooks is also ordered to pay a restitution to Janessa's family. In 2015, Cooks spoke with Action News and said he didn't mean to hit Janessa. He was only shooting in self-defense. Reporting from the Fresno County Courthouse, Anna Torreya, ABC 30 Action News. Action News just received this statement from the Fresno County District Attorney's Office. The DA's office says in part, quote, Today's resentencing exposes one of the many travesties that the overarching criminal justice reforms are causing in the criminal justice systems. The DA's office adds, it further victimizes those who have lost loved ones due to senseless acts of violence, end quote. In your voice, your vote tonight, it now appears 